This is Dave Myrick with the National Weather Service in Reno presenting an online weather briefing on a winter storm that will impact the Sierra and western Nevada Wednesday afternoon through this weekend. These online presentations will be updated for major weather events as time and staffing resources permit. After a beautiful holiday weekend dominated by high pressure and light winds, forecast confidence is high that a big pattern change will bring stormy conditions beginning on Wednesday afternoon and lasting through the weekend. The area of high pressure, shown on the left image, will break down this week and be replaced by a strong area of low pressure off the Pacific Northwest coast, as shown on the right image. This pattern change will drive a strong upper level jet stream and an atmospheric river of moisture into the western United States by late week. The first impacts from this pattern change will occur on Wednesday afternoon as a weak weather system moves across the Sierra and western Nevada. This system will bring a burst of heavy precipitation in the Sierra with lighter showers across western Nevada. Snow levels will be at or just above Lake Tahoe level for this event, with a slushy accumulation possible near the lake and up to four inches possible near the Sierra Crest. Gusty winds are also possible Wednesday, especially near the Sierra Crest. Winds will continue to increase on Thursday ahead of the main storm for the weekend. Southwest winds with gusts up to 40 miles per hour are possible across western Nevada valleys. Higher gusts are possible in wind-prone areas and across the Sierra. Near the Sierra Crest, winds could gust up to 100 miles per hour. Travel will be difficult for high-profile vehicles on Thursday with dangerous crosswinds. The bulk of the storm will occur beginning Thursday night and last through much of the weekend. There are two possible scenarios with how this event could play out across the Reno forecast area. This image shows the position of the upper level jet stream for the first scenario, which would bring the jet into southern Oregon. This would result in very high snow levels, above 8,000 feet, with heavy rain across northeast California and in the Sierra, especially north of the Tahoe Basin. Across western Nevada, strong winds would be the main story along the 395 corridor south of Susanville with light precipitation amounts. The second scenario is much wetter, with the upper level jet stream setting up across the northern Sierra and northwest Nevada. Snow levels would still be high, between 7,500 and 8,000 feet. This scenario would bring heavy rain and high elevation snow to the Sierra and a significant spillover rainfall event along the 395 corridor in western Nevada. Here is a summary of forecaster confidence for the different components of this storm. The models have consistently shown this pattern change for a number of days, so confidence is very high that stormy weather will return Wednesday afternoon and continue through the weekend. Forecast confidence is also very high for snow levels, as both scenarios point to snow levels above 7,500 feet. The Sierra would receive a significant amount of precipitation regardless of which scenario plays out, so forecast confidence for heavy rain in the Sierra below 7,000 feet is high. The most uncertainty is in the forecast for western Nevada, where gusty winds or heavy spillover rainfall could occur. At this time, there is an equal chance of both scenarios occurring, so the forecast confidence for this aspect of the forecast is low. Check back at our website for updates as this storm approaches our region. An update to this online briefing is expected by Tuesday afternoon. Thank you for listening.